Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about what's working in August 2019 with YouTube advertising. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that every few months, things change and different things work really well. So I just want to talk about what my agency and my team has seen from managing multiple ad accounts, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars each month, and basically being in the dirt, just experimenting and seeing what is working and not working. So number one is that custom intent and custom affinity audiences have been really doing well over the last few months. So what is a custom intent audience? A custom intent audience is basically you target people based on what they're searching in google.com and then you target them when they're on YouTube. So if somebody goes into google.com, uh, searches for how to make money online, then you can target them on YouTube even though they search that on Google. And we've seen these custom intent audiences to be really scalable. Uh, the biggest thing to really think about when doing these is like search volume. So you don't wanna go for long tail small keywords, you want to go for bigger terms. So for example, instead of going for, let's say, how to make money online um, in five hours or something, you wanna go for make money online and see how that works for you. We've seen these bigger, broader custom intent audiences paired with target CPA campaigns work really well. Uh, custom affinity audiences are similar. They're kind of like based on what sites people visit um, and kind of their, the websites they're on. So it is a similar concept. We've seen it be a little bit less uh, predictable than custom intent, a little bit less kind of like quality, but they've still performed quite well for us. And it's funny because six to 12 months ago, custom intent audiences were performing in a couple of accounts, but not in most accounts. While recently we're seeing them perform really well for many of our accounts. So that's something to investigate. So number two is actually not really related to the YouTube ads itself. It's more of an observation we've had recently while running different offers and seeing which offers scale really fast while which offers struggle. So what we've noticed is that really simple messaging that is the same throughout your funnel is really the key to have a great converting funnel. Because what we've seen is some people run funnels where, you know, they're not extremely clear on the message. So they, they might have their landing page messaging be different than their ad messaging. Their webinar might go into tangents. While with one, uh, in another scenario, the messaging is extremely simple and clear, and it could literally be summarized in a sentence. And you, every single stage of the funnel is just focused on like kind of that clear, simple message. So really try to make sure that your funnel has a clear and simple message all the way through and it's congruent. And that's just been a game changer where we've seen one funnel for our clients uh, where they built this funnel and they just stuck to this, uh, us scaling to 5K a day, 4K a day, I believe in like a month. And the final thing that we're seeing is TrueView for Action is actually killing it lately. So it's weird because TrueView for Action seems to go through phases where Google's you know, adjusting things. So two or three months ago, we were actually seeing a lot of our cost, uh, you know, CPV, cost per view bidding campaigns outperforming TrueView for Action. So that was, I believe around three months ago, as an agency, we were running a lot more CPV campaigns than CPA campaigns for, for a small period of time because Google was adjusting something with their algo, the CPA campaigns weren't working. Now, recently we've seen those CPA campaigns again just work really, really well. So the biggest takeaway from that actually is you wanna be testing both CPV and CPA campaigns because things change with the algorithm. Sometimes uh, they're working on it. Sometimes it just goes a little wacky. You want to have, more stability in your account by using CPV and CPA campaigns. And right now is a really good time to go into CPA campaigns as well, just because we're just seeing them absolutely crush it as of you know early August, 2019. And I think overall, it's gonna keep getting better. There might be periods where it dips in effectiveness because they're testing things with the algorithm, and there might be periods where it's better. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, guys, that's three quick tips that of things that are working in August 2019 with YouTube advertising. If you like this video, uh, comment and subscribe and make sure to check out my YouTube advertising course as well, which uh, goes very in depth into everything YouTube. So cheers guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to get better at YouTube advertising, then please check out my YouTube ads course. I've put a link to it below where you can check out what's in it. And yeah, just comment and subscribe if you like this content so I can keep creating more.
Talk without